Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Here's a, sh a quick guide to the new digital right to rent checks for British and Irish citizens. From the 6th of April this year, landlords and agents will have the chance to use new digital service providers to conduct the English right to rent checks for British and Irish tenants. So what does this actually mean? Lettings legislation will change uh, on the 6th of April to include how landlords and their agents can use certified identity service providers, IDSPs for short, uh, to digitally check the identity and eligibility of British and Irish citizens to rent a property in England. Here's what agents and landlords need to know about using these new providers to stay compliant uh, with their right to rent obligations. Firstly, what is an IDSP? Well, IDSPs are approved companies that will be responsible for validating the identity of applicants on behalf of landlords. The UK Accreditation Service, UKAS, will certify these providers and they will need to meet the requirements of the UK Digital Identity Attributes Trust framework and have appropriate systems in place to keep um, applicants information securely. The full list of certified providers will be published on the government's website. So what will the ID IDSPs check? The IDSPs will run through the following steps to check your applicants identities, obtaining ID evidence, checking the evidence is genuine and valid, checking the uh, claimed identity has existed over time, checking if the uh, claimed identity is at high risk of identity fraud, checking that the identity belongs to the right person. Each step will be scored to give a total level of confidence, LOC um, score. Um, at least a medium score is required for the ID check to pass for right to rent purposes. The providers will then use the following documents to check if your applicant has the right to live in England. British passports, Irish passports, Irish passport cards. If the applicant can't provide these documents, this means that you may have to conduct, conduct the check manually or use one of the Home Office's other digital services. What will landlords and agents need to do? Well, they'll need to provide the IDSP with certain information to run the right to rent check. This includes the full name of the applicant, their date of birth, an image of the biometric page in their ID. Uh, a photo of them in some instances, you may still be required to check these documents manually, for example, if your applicant has an expired passport. You will also need to check that the ID photo you provide to the IDSP is a match for your applicant, either face to face or through a video call. Agents and landlords who employ staff will be responsible for providing training where relevant on how to use the IDSPs. You'll also need to be responsible for undertaking due diligence checks. The ID ver verification process uh, simply forms part of a risk assessment. Although the IDSPs will essentially act on your behalf to carry out the right to rent check on an individual, landlords and agents are still responsible for the check taking place and will need to ensure that they are only using certified provider. You'll still need to retain proof of the checks that the certified provider made for you at least one year after the tenancy ends to have a statutory excuse against any fines. I hope this all helps with the right to rent ch changes come right to rent changes coming into force from April 6th this year. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.